evening and welcome. My name is Kelly and I am a clinical fellow speech language pathologist. I am vlogging this weekend as it is my first working weekend. So welcome to the vlog. Um, it's very, very early. I'm half asleep right now, but I'm about to go do CrossFit. It's Friday. The workout's going to be brutal. And then I'm going to go to work. Yeah, that's the day. It's going to be a good one. Um, we'll see what it brings, but I want to bring you guys along and show you my first working weekend as a clinical fellow at SLP. I'm looking a lot better than I did this morning. It's very humbling to record yourself when it's like the butt crack of dawn and you're just, you're looking crusty, but I finished CrossFit. I just got to the parking garage, parked, um, the parking garage is about like a five minute walk into work. So I'm about to go in and clock in, sit down, chart review and eat breakfast while I chart review and have some coffee. Today's t-shirt Friday. So we're all allowed to wear t-shirts. And then I got this super cute mug from my supervisor yesterday. Um, it was a graduation gift that was delivered yesterday. And I actually got her the same thing for graduation or for a thank you. She didn't graduate for a thank you for finishing externship. And so if I'm lucky, we're going to be wearing the same t-shirt and drinking our coffee out of the same cup. So if you know me, I'm going to be on cloud nine because who wouldn't want to be matching with their mentor on a Friday? It's matching Friday for me and me and the mentor, but I'm getting my competency signed off today for the IMC and the floor units, which means that next week, maybe even this afternoon, I will be seeing patients alone which is crazy and it's crazy that this is here and that I can do things on my own. We'll see how today goes. I'm excited. Um, the first confidence is getting signed off. Woohoo! I survived Friday. It's Friday evening. I just got back from work and it was such a good day. I got my competency signed. So now I can officially go on the IC or the IMC and the med search floors by myself. Um, the ICU competencies are a little bit different and we're going to be finishing those up in the next week or two. So I have that to look forward to, but I can do things on my own now. It's scary, but I'm excited. Um, today was a good day. I worked with my original supervisor and then she had her graduate student with us so it was fun to see see a, a younger student in speech pathology and kind of help her out and encourage her um, as she was going through her her rotations with us today so that was super fun um, it was a good day we saw some very interesting patients and a lot of them dealing with like more GI issues versus oral pharyngeal dysphagia um, and just managing that and managing the GI team and their recommendations. So it was a good day. We covered majority of GI, like I said, and then a lot of liver transplant patients, which are a little bit tricky dealing with um, their altered mental state and managing post extubation plus AMS. So it was a good day. It was challenging. It was exciting. Um, it just feels so strange to have these papers signed so that I can see people on my own. Bah! But I'm excited for tonight. I am just going to do a Friday night reset chill night, which involves me fixing my nails, self tanning, drinking wine and editing a video. So lots to look forward to here. Um, not many friends are in town, which is all right because I do have to wake up early tomorrow and go to work. My first Saturday shift. So we'll see what Saturday's like. That shift is going to be a little bit crazy, but it should be fun. It should be a good time. Saturday training shift on a holiday weekend. What could go wrong? I'm obsessed with this cup. I also forgot to say, today I got my first adult big girl paycheck, so that's exciting. I woke up this morning with a good deposit into my bank account, and I was like, what is this? And I was like, it's payday. I didn't even know I got paid on Fridays. So, PSA to all the new clinical fellows, figure out your payday.
because I had no clue what mine was and then it just came. But I feel like that's important information for you to know. Anyways. Saturday. Last night was really good. I just sat at home and had a good reset night because I am working today. It is my first working Saturday. I'm very excited and I don't think I should be this excited to work on a Saturday, but I'm training today to see how the hospital works um, on the weekends. So that should be fun. It should be something different. It's going to be challenging. We'll see what the day brings. Um, it's about 7.15 and I'm going to try to clock in around 7.30. So I'm going to drive over to the hospital real quick, park, and then chart review and go see some patients. Um, we'll see what happens today. I, I have zero expectations because I'm going to be the only SLP there. Three towers, one SLP, a lot of patients. It's going to be a day. It's 2.40, I'm clocked out, I'm ready to go home. Today was a good day. I saw a couple patients with my trainer. Um, how Saturdays work is we optimize um, the coverage that we have. So typically on Saturdays, it's just one speech pathologist to all the orders that come in and we just focus on new consults. Um, I saw a couple consults with my trainer for the weekend and we just went to the ICU since I'm not comped in that and I saw a couple like two or three ICU patients with her and then she sent me on the way and I saw some of the med surge in the IMC level patients since I got my competency signed off on for those floors yesterday. So I went and saw like five or six patients today by myself and it felt good. It was weird to be working without a supervisor and fully going to the nurse and talking to the nurse and like messaging the doctor and putting in charges. I put in my first billing and charges today. That's exciting. Um, and it felt, it felt good and it feels, it feels right. I'm, I'm actually doing it, which is absolutely insane that this is happening, that I'm billing patients for my services, but we're doing it. It was a good day. It was a good learning experience. It was a little bit chaotic since it's a Saturday, but um, I'm learning a lot and learning to be independent. We had to see a patient in the ED and that was just complete chaos. Um, but yeah, how Saturdays are typically going to work is that it's just going to be Myself, um, there, our hospital has three different towers, and so we prioritize, since we're a stroke, um, like level one stroke place, we prioritize stroke alerts, and then patients who are new consults who do not have diet orders and who do not have access. So they don't have a Dubhof or they don't have G-tube. Um, and then after we hit the stroke alerts and those who are MPO without access, then we'll go see new consults who have MPO and access if we have extra time. But that's how Saturdays run. It was a good Saturday. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna head over to REI because I'm gonna go buy a new bike seat for my bike. It's because this is the whole thing, but let, needless to say, my bike really needs a new bike seat. So I'm gonna buy one. I went, I left work, I went to REI, I got a new bike seat for my bike. As you can see, it didn't work out too well. Um, we're gonna have to problem solve that. I need to find some WD-40, I think. But I tried to put the bike seat on, it didn't work. I had a little bit of a snack and now I am downtown. My CrossFit friends and I are gonna grab dinner at this pizza place, which I'm pumped about because pizza and a beer just sounds like the perfect way to spend this Saturday evening. Pizza and a beer. 
I'm pumped. I am pumped. Yeah, I can't wait. Good food and good company. What more can a woman want? I am back in my car, but this time it is Sunday morning. So good morning. Happy Sunday. I am headed off to church. Um, it's going to be weird. I don't think a lot of my friends are coming to church today because they're all out of town. So maybe I'll sit by someone new to be determined. But last night was really great. We got to dinner at seven and didn't leave the restaurant till like 10, 15. Um, and it was just so fun. We just sat and ate pizza and talked and it's such a good group of people. Um, different ages, like no one's the same age. No one's doing the same thing with their life, but we all have this one thing in common and it's just, it's so nice to hang out with people that are different than you. And it's amazing how one common thing can just bring a, bring a group of people together and develop awesome friendships. So super fun, pretty good pizza, great beer, amazing company. 10 out of 10. Remember this guy from yesterday? Yeah. I'm gonna head to REI and see if I can get this bike seat off this pole. I already uh, ordered two new bike poles. They call them bike posts. Bike seat posts off of Amazon to just replace this whole thing. But it would be amazing if I could not buy a new post for my new bike seat. Stay tuned. Let's see if the REI can work their magic. Let's take down this rain. It's going to be good. Let's hope the Florida drivers don't freak out too much that it's raining and that we can just, we can get to REI safely. REI, I love them. Okay. It's off. The lady was so nice and she was so helpful and she looked at me and she's like, I can do that for you. And then I, she did it. And I was like, how much do I owe you? And she was like, nothing. Don't worry about it. Simple. I was like, I make fun of my oldest brother all the time because he quite literally goes to REI multiple times a week. And now here I am doing the same thing. The same thing. I go there at least twice, three times a week. I walk around, I check things out. They help me out. I'm turning into my oldest brother one day at a time. It's a scary thought. But anyways, I am about to put my new big bike seat on my bike post and the rain is letting up and I'm hopeful by 4 p.m. I'm a bike ride. I'm going to go on a nice bike ride on the trail and oh, I cannot explain how much North Florida post rain is my favorite. It is beautiful. The greens are gonna be so beautiful. I'm excited. I am so excited. I see the sun coming out. It's peeking through the clouds. I am beat, beat, beat. It was about 35 miles today, guys. And it's hot, but I'm so glad, so glad that the sun came out and the rain stopped. It was just beautiful. I'm telling you, this town after the rain is like no other. The greens just pop, it's beautiful. It's, it's part of my favorite, favorite things to do is go outside after the rain. Um, but yeah, it's like 6.15 and I'm starving because I haven't ate since noon. I just got a mosquito bite. So I'm going to go home shower. And I should be washing my hair, but tomorrow I'm biking with friends again. And our CrossFit gym is doing a 4th of July CrossFit hero workout. So I'm just going to be disgusting. So maybe I'll just condition my hair. I have no clue. But holy cow, I'm getting a lot of mosquito bites. So I have to go. Um, that was awesome. That was just what I needed. Happy 4th of July. It's Monday and I wanted to, I'm not going to record today, but I wanted to take a moment and talk about like some anxiety I felt yesterday and woke up with today. Um, I was confident in all my decisions yesterday and I knew that if I needed help and I needed, if I wasn't confident, that I would have acted more conservative and I would have texted someone that wasn't working and asked them for help and their opinion. 
but I was, I was confident and I, I still hold strong to every single call that I made clinically, but I have so much anxiety not checking up on my patients and on their charts yesterday and this morning and going on through today and that I won't be able to check on them until tomorrow when I get to work and chart review. And it is very tempting for me to log on to our EMR and check in on them and make sure everything is fine and that no one has developed aspiration pneumonia overnight. Um, I truly don't think that that's the course that my patients are going at all. Like I wouldn't have put them on diets and I, I did recommend some NPO with alternative access for patients that I didn't feel comfortable assessing um, and progressing them clinically without an instrumental. But I think it's a realistic like feeling to have days off and to emphasize that a work-life balance needs to happen and I do not need to log in to monitor my patients, but the temptation is, is there and it's real and the anxiety is there. And I'm just trusting that I am not God, that my clinical judgment was correct and that there's other people looking after them today and yesterday and that it's going to be okay. But I wanted to talk about that because it's something that's been weighing on my heart. And I think that it's, I'm, I'm finally starting to feel the, the effects of days off multiple days in a row and not being able to monitor your patients because you care for them and you want them to be doing well, but also wanting to respect the work-life balance that you're trying to impose on your life. Um, cause it's important to not constantly be thinking and constantly trying to control these patients even though you want to and you want to be watching them and caring for them because you care for them you got to keep a balance and that's something i'm struggling with right now and i have anxiety over but i'm just trusting and praying that tomorrow it's going to be okay and whatever does happen it's going to be okay because they have other people and doctors like looking after them it's not just me on a totem pole controlling their destiny but yeah the anxiety is real right now I'm going to enjoy my day and I'm not going to log on to Epic. I'm going to stay speech patho free and enjoy the fourth. Thanks for hanging out with me this weekend.